200 years, we were involved in reactive medicine. We waited till somebody got sick and, and treated the, the symptoms. Now we could be more proactive with the genetic testing, more preventative with the advanced metabolic markers we could look at now, and actually treat the illness and the, and, and the genetic susceptibilities before, before it happens. This program was originally designed to look at how physical, mental, and emotional stress causes deficiencies. So whether you're a child that's five years old or an adult uh, that's 90, we're able to look at things now on a cellular level and determine how the stress is compromising the body. Um, from weight loss to professional athletes, we're now able to look uh, and, and be proactive about correcting these deficiencies and, and do everything from prevent disease to increase performance. We know now that all disease starts out with nutritional deficiencies. So whether you're five years old or 90, if we could detect nutritional deficiencies and correct them, it's gonna protect you for the future. Our educational center focuses on ed educating individuals and families. Everything from diet to nutritional deficiencies to proper exercise. And finally, our business development side allows us to operationalize this program into doctor's offices as well as hospitals to ready them for the paradigm shift in personalized medicine. We have a very diverse client base. Let me give you an example. Ricky Zabala was a post-traumatic stress patient that was on multiple medications. We know now that the SSRIs or the antidepressants damage the prefrontal cortex. So over a year we were able to get him off the medication and balance his body and get him on the road to wellness. Scott Levitt was a heart attack victim, triathlete. Nobody really knew how Scott had a heart attack. Again, we, we dived in, looked at the metabolic markers and, and corrected his problem working along with his cardiologist. Louis Amabile was a, a brain injury patient. Um, when we were looking at neuroplasticity and how do we grow new brain tissue, we were able to develop a program for Louis that helped with his rehab process when everybody dropped the ball. Alan Castro has a heart transplant. He came to us after he had his heart transplant in order to develop a program because he's a cyclist and he wanted to get back on the bike. We worked with Alan and we continue to work with Alan. Eric Pace has a rock and roll band called the God Amsterdams. He's experienced infections and fatigue pretty much his whole life. We data mined the program down, did some advanced testing on Eric and turned around his metabolism. Trudy Reed, the president of Bethune-Cookman College, her DNA was being damaged by an external source. We're able to look at Trudy on a cellular level and get her answers when three or four physicians really, really didn't and plug in a treatment protocol for Trudy. This is the future of medicine, whether it's diet, a medication, or a supplementation, it's all gonna be customized to the individual. These are exciting times. Nobody's really wrapped it up the way we did, doing the advanced testing, the imaging, and the alternative delivery systems. That's why we can get answers when nobody else can.